Okay, here we have the Sonos Wireless Hi-Fi System Play 3 unit. Now the Play 3 unit is a mono speaker. It's designed to fit either on a shelf and it can have a horizontal or an upright position. It has four additional rubber lugs on the end as well as the base. Um, it has a metal grill, very solid plastic construction, very sturdy, has a nice rubbery feel to the rear and also it has uh, a screw mounting joint for wall mounting brackets. So the idea also is that you can have the unit on the wall, uh, in, a, in a corner of a room, etc., in your ceiling area. So although I said this is a mono unit, it's actually got a couple of speakers in here, but only so that it can give a good range of sound. So don't confuse this, this is definitely a stereo unit on its own, it's a mono unit. However, Sonos have done a very clever thing where this unit can be combined with multiple ones. So you can have just a single play three or you can buy a pair and then you can have them configured again through the system option set up so that one is the right and one is the left. So you get a, a full stereo spectrum and with only mains power to the unit, you could have in the corner of your room uh, a very clever uh, system where you, without any other cables or wire showing, you've got access to your entire music network. So internal to here is an amplifier as well as the speakers, very much like the Play 5. It's a standalone unit. If it were your own unit and sitting on a bookshelf, you would need to, and Sonos provide you a very nice flat white Cat5 lead, you'd need to connect it to your network. There is a socket on the back for doing just this. Once plugged in, and that's just for the power, so let me just show you, it's a figure of eight. It's a, it's a nice neatly recessed unit on the uh, Play 3. Um, once connected to your internet uh, network, sorry, it then has access to the internet and through the internet can have access to all the radio stations as well as on your network any files, music files you have on your computers or your network storage devices, SANS or NASes. Um, and uh, although this unit is more designed to be discreet, uh, corner of a room, wall mounted or shelf, it absolutely has the full potential to be the single only unit in your house to start you going. So it's a good starter kit for a Sonos system. The sound is good. Um, I won't give it the same accolade I have done with the Play 5, the old named Zone Player S5, because it just doesn't sound quite as good. I've had to uh, pull down the bass a slight amount. I find this unit a little bit more bassy. Um, possibly because of its design, possibly because it's uh, open back and possibly because of the location I have it in the bedroom. Again, it's all personal taste. Some people like the bass side of the sound of things. This is the only Sonos unit of all the units I've had that I've had to tweak the uh, bass treble uh, settings. Uh, normally the default out of the box setting is absolutely perfect. Um, however, having said that, it's a very good sounding unit. I haven't got two of these. I have heard this in stereo, and so I know it works. I heard it in a, in a good demonstration room in a, in a Best Buys uh, last year, coming to the end of 2011. I've had this for uh, three, four months. Had no problems with it at all. It's a very good unit. It's the newest unit to my uh, collection of, so of growing Sonos items. It comes in the new packaging, so you'll easily be able to spot this. This is currently as in 2011, end of 2011, 2012, now comes in uh, the black cardboard box, white writing and orange, quite fancy flowering designs going on here. It comes with a very good instruction manual. N any necessary software, which of course you can get off the internet, you don't need that disc, so don't worry about that, you can have it for Mac or uh, PC. Setup guide, a few pages, as well as all your normal war warranties and guarantees, etc. Very good units. Um, You've got access to uh, the system you, yourself, of course, through, uh, I have an example here, I'm bringing a Mac into shot. So you can see your library, you can also see all the various internet radio options, and you can also see all the various uh, internet services once you're connected up to um, your internet, your network through your internet. So you've got here all the various, uh, and I'll just name a couple, Spotify, Last FM, etc. cetera, um, services that you also get to use you don't need to have it, your laptop uh, to control um, your music system. You can have an iPod Touch, an iPhone, an Apple iPhone, or an Android phone onto which you download the Sonos app. Once you've got the Sonos app uh, on your phone, you've then got basically access to your whole library and album art, etc., as normal. And uh, you can uh, scroll through your library, make playlists. Um, control the volume, mute, turn on and off units, etc. So it's it's a very flexible, very powerful system. It's all about multi-room, but you can grow with uh, a single unit, and this is a good starting one.